Okay, okay. Because we, we do have historical facts that that actually did happen. We have historical records. Yeah, the Jews, I come from a Jewish background. In the Talmud it says Jesus was put to death because he led Israel astray with his sorcery. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's saying, yeah, he did miracles, we call it sorcery, and he was put to death for it. So they're attesting to the fact he lived. And so the, the, um, the Roman historian... Um, Josephus? No, no he was, Roman. Um, uh, Tacitus. That's it, um, Tacitus. In 90 AD, he wrote about Jesus being put to death under Pontius Pilate and that government. So it's a historical fact that he was put to death and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And it's prophesied exactly when he would enter into Israel. It's really amazing. In the book of Daniel, in the ninth chapter, it says it's going to be a procl proclamation to rebuild the temple in the city. And from that proclamation, it charts out a series of weeks of years, of sevens. And if you multiply them out on the Jewish calendar, it's exactly the year 32 AD when Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. Um, there have been mathematicians who put this together, and it works out. Wow. E even if it was yeah. off by even if it was off by a year, I mean, it's saying in that period of time the Messiah is going to come, and that prophecy was given 483 years, or actually 440 something years before it actually happened. And do, and, and Al, do well, you 483, think 483. do you think the government would would want to fulfill that prophecy? Oh, uh, during that time, uh, well, I don't know it. And how but could people, how people could were they? saying? People were saying that um, there was a certain family in the Roman Empire, I guess the Piso family, that were were enslaving the Jews, and they actually wrote some of the New Testament in order to keep them as slaves by making their God passive, uh, meaning that turn the other cheek, um, you know, don't, um, you know, you're you're your uh, oppressor is going to get theirs in the end, um, you know, not making them militant. Um, that's, you know, something that I've heard before. Well, uh, yeah, and there's always been opposition to, uh, to make the Bible wrong. Okay. Um, but if you look at the, the way the Bible's written and, and the harmonies that go, it's like a, like a hand in a glove mm -hmm. the, between the Old Testament, the New Testament, between all the Gospels, between history books. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's a perfect fit, and, and there's no, may, no way man could create that. Right. So what, what the devil does is come in with so-called historical facts that try to uh, dis, you know, disrepute it. Right. Now here's, here's another interesting one. In the end times, according to the Bible, you've got to have Iran, Persia, allied with Libya, according to Ezekiel chapter 38, with Russia. And when the prophecy was given, Islam didn't exist. And the things that unite Iran with Libya in their hatred for Israel and those other countries around there is Islam, which didn't exist and wasn't going to exist for a thousand years. So, so it would be hard for me to comprehend a government creating a new uh, religion, a new people, the, the, the Muslims, right. in order to fulfill that prophecy. And it goes on and on, Al. It's, it's impossible for humans to have conspired. And what reason would they have to do all that? And it goes through, you can't do it in your lifetime. Right. It's got to take thousands of years. So it's crazy. You know? and, and, and on top of it, if you look at the totality of, of God's Word, there's thousands of prophecies in there. And for man to fulfill every one exactly would, would make man a wonderful person, huh? <laughs> right. God. Hey, Al, listen, yeah. thank you for calling. Um, you might check out our, our website. Uh, do you have any questions before I see we've got Mike back on the oh, line? Okay, but. okay. Yeah, I just have one more, one more question. Sure. Um, I know that Jesus was, he, was, he wasn't a Christian, he was a, um, what, j j he believed that he was a Jew, right? Or he well, was, he was God, wasn't he? Yeah, no, I understand he was God, but he... <laughs> yeah, he was, he was a Jew, he was born, go what? ahead. Okay, now, now, now the Jews, they, they don't believe God was actually, I mean, Jesus Christ was actually the Son of God, is that correct? Well, all the original believers were Jewish, right? Right. Okay, and... Right, the majority do not believe, but there's a, God said in the end times more and more would come to believe, and I'm one of those, but go ahead. Okay, so, so let me ask you, why don't they believe um, in um, Christ being the Son of God if Jesus was a Jew himself? Most people um, don't want truth. Jesus says, straight is the way, narrow the path, few that be defined. It doesn't matter whether you're Jew 
or Catholic or whatever, most people want money, power, fame. Um, they, they're seeking other things in their life and to try and seek for truth in this one narrow way, Jesus, and give up, give up women when you're single, when you're 19 or 20 or 25 or 30 or whatever, and God says, you're, you know, you're only supposed to have relations with your wife, to give that up, and, and maybe you like to drink, why would you want to give, what, you know, and people are going to call you dumb and foolish for, you know, weird for becoming a Christian, you know, I, lo I looked at Christians like that, I became a Christian when I was 29, and so everything's against it in the, in the natural world, and Jesus said, straight his way, narrow the path. So most people, whether they're Jewish or not Jewish, are not seeking with all their heart to see if there is truth and 100% fulfilled prophecy or something yeah. that could lead them to truth. Does and, that make sense, and, Al? And, and interesting enough, Al, for 1,500 years before um, Jesus came, God, through his prophets, said that they, my people, Israel, would reject him. Okay. And, and lo and behold, guess what? It was true. And it said that some would turn to him over, you know, and that, of course, it, all of the original believers for the first 12 years or something like that were all Jews. Thousands of them were believers. The majority were not. Just like the majority of Catholics don't believe the true Jesus. The right. majority of any group doesn't follow the true Jesus. And, right. and, and then God also spoke that he would save a remnant of Israel, um, of believers, and then he would graft in a Gentile nation, and here we are today believing in this... Gentile and Jew. Gentile and Jew believing in this Messiah that God spoke 2,500 years ago. And millions like us out there like yourself, right? Right, right. No, I definitely do believe in Jesus Christ, but I also believe um, that other, other religions across the world have a lot of validity um, as well. I believe that God is, you know, religion is something like a kaleidoscope. Um, you know how the kaleidoscope works. There's yeah, I do. But let me ask you something that goes to the heart of the matter. Jesus said that no man comes to the Father but by me. And in Acts it says that um, every knee shall bow and everyone confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He says he's the only way to God, even though there's truth, some levels of truth, but they don't have all the truth and they don't have the most important ingredient mm -hmm. that he died and took the punishment so that we don't have to. Would you agree that he's unique that way? Yes, I believe that, that that is unique, but I know that there are some principles that are consistent throughout every religion. Sure, Probably loving people, do, mm -hmm. not stealing. Yeah. Do, yeah, sure, that's in our conscience. We're all made by the same God, right? right? But at, yeah. at the same time, Al, Jesus gave us a warning and he said, broad is the road to destruction. Straight is the path, narrow is the way, few be it that find it. So in that broad road, what was he speaking of? All those religions that claim that, you know, Allah and Buddha and, and we can go on and on and on. Right. Was, is that what he was talking about? That road there, broad is that road? But, but, those, but those people who are born in those um, particular countries, I mean, are they just forsaken to um, eternity in hell because they don't believe in Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, yeah, but God said no man will be without excuse. I was raised a Catholic. Right. Okay, at some point God revealed himself to me and I had to either seek it or reject it. Mm -hmm. So even though I was a Catholic and, and not living in, you know, South America or whatever, but I was still a, a religious person. I was Catholic. Right. I had to separate myself from that and seek it out on my own. Okay. And it's so you could be born again. So Jesus said, right. unless you're born again, and that's a spiritual thing. And so it's no different with, with the Muslims or, or the Hindus or the Jews or, or, the or, Jews or anyone. Yeah. God's going to, at some point, maybe like today with Mike, our friend Mike that called up. He's holding on the line, by the way. Is revealing himself through, you know, this program. And we're not claiming any righteousness whatsoever other than who he is and what he's done for mankind. Right. Okay, well, I, I appreciate you guys. You guys are very enlightening, and uh, I enjoyed your, your, your discussion. Thanks. Have you ever been on our website? Uh, no. Check it out. Yeah, trueseekers.ws. Yeah, we've got 30 of our former programs video stream. We've got some good links to some other and, sites. And we cover all different types of topics, from the, from the living cell to the cosmos.